If you're having trouble listening to lung sounds, do not flip out. Let me show you how to do it. Once you grab your patient, you're gonna introduce yourself and you're gonna wash your hands. Are you ready to get your lungs assessed? I'm ready. This is my mom. First, what you're gonna do is make sure you put it on your stethoscope properly, taking the earbuds, right? They're gonna be facing outwards because you want it to fit comfortably in your ear canal. Next, we're gonna use the diaphragm of the stethoscope, not the bell. We're gonna hear high pitched sounds. That includes wheezes, crackles, and normal breath sounds. So we're gonna follow the eight point pattern. It's our anteriorly, so front, and then posteriorly, the back. And have your patient sit up upright as much as they can because if the patient's in a better position, it means better airflow, which means clearer sounds. So we know what's happening. Start above the clavicles, the apices of the lungs, and then we're gonna work down symmetrically. Ideally, we wanna be skin to stethoscope. So we're gonna start above the clavicles where the apices of the lungs are, and then we're gonna work down symmetrically going side to side from the second intercostal space to the fourth intercostal space to the sixth intercostal space. Once we get to the back, posterior, we're going to turn our way downward about two inch patterns going in a ladder position, side to side. And never forget to check the base of your lungs. You know what we could be listening for when we listen to our lung sounds? Wheezing. <gasps> Wheezing, yes, we call that adventitious breath sounds. Also, we're listening for normal breath sounds or absent breath sounds. No breath sounds, <laughs> you're done. <laughs> Of course, you want to remove as much background noise as possible. You want to make it as easy as possible for you to hear those lung sounds. I'm a new grab mistake I see when they're auscultating the lungs is they're going to ask the patient to take deep breaths. So the patient is taking so many deep breaths that the patient starts to get fatigued and lightheaded. So give your patient a break to take normal breaths. And we're going to say, take a deep breath in, out, again in, out. Place my telescope on the back, repeat the same pattern, okay? Take a deep breath in, good, out. And if you found this helpful, make sure you like this video and share it with someone that needs to practice listening to their lung sounds. Your turn, Mom. Hope that was helpful.